Assalamu alaikum. Today is second lecture on anti-seer drugs. And in this lecture, I will uh, discuss four drugs, carbamazepine, phenytoin, gabapentin, and pregabalin. The learning objectives are describe mechanism of action of carbamazepine and list the clinical uses of carbamazepine, including epileptic and non-epileptic uses, enumerate adverse effects of carbamazepine, and list drug interactions of carbamazepine. Now the second drug, that is phenytoin, and list its uh, some important pharmacokinetic features. Describe mechanism of action of phenytoin and enlist its uses and adverse effects. The remaining learning objectives are enlist drug interactions of phenytoin, describe mechanism of action of gabapentin and pregabalin, enlist their clinical uses and adverse effects. So at the end of this lecture, all of you should be able to describe their mechanisms and list the clinical uses and adverse effects of these four drugs. Now the first drug is carbamazepine. How this carbamazepine, it acts as anti-epileptic drug. Its mechanism is by binding to sodium channels so it blocks sodium channels thus inhibiting the initiation and propagation of action potential thus inhibiting the depolarization carbamazepine it causes a use dependent blockade so it acts its action is uh, will be more on rapidly firing neurons in epileptic foci Clinical uses of carbamazepine are divided into epileptic and non-epileptic uses. The last three are the non-epileptic uses. Carbamazepine is used for treatment of a simple partial and generalized tonic-clonic seers. And the non-epileptic ones are trigeminal neuralgia. For this condition, Carbamazepine is a drug of choice. Trigeminal neuralgia, when there is a damage to this nerve, uh, the patient feels will feel pain at the distribution of this nerve, as shown in this diagram. The pain will be uh, very sharp or excruciating. The second use is glossopharyngeal neuralgia. Any damage or injury to this ninth nerve, which is glossopharyngeal nerve, results in pain at the throat and also in ears. Mania in bipolar disorder is another indication of carbamazepine. Now, this is double VN, which is one of the side effects of carbamazepine, diplopia. Double VN is diplopia. The other side effects are GIT, side effects, drowsiness. Carbamazepine at higher doses, when it is given at higher doses, it, it causes sedation. One of the important side effects of, uh, of carbamazepine is hyponatremia. Sometimes it also causes unusual, unpredictable adverse effects, which are called as idiosyncratic reactions or idiosyncratic adverse effects, including aplastic anemia and erythematous rash. One of the severe adverse effects that can be caused, although it's rare, by carbamazepine is Stevens-Johnson syndrome. So students, add this uh, drug to the list of drugs causing Stevens-Johnson syndrome. 
which is one of the severe uh, skin reactions. causing blister formation, mainly around the lips, inside the mouth. These are the drug interactions of carbamazepine. Uh, when it is combined with valproic acid, valproic acid increases the carbamazepine level. Phenytoin, although it decreases a carbamazepine level due to enzyme induction, and carbamazepine, it also increases the metabolism of phenytoin and valproic acid. Second drug is phenytoin. This is one of the older anti-epileptic drug. The pro-drug of phenytoin is phosphenytoin. The advantage of phenytoin or uh, uh, false phenytoin or phenytoin is that when this drug is administered IV, it, it causes less uh, chances of a severe adverse reaction called as purple glove syndrome. And the risk of the, this side effect is more when Phenytoin, it is administered intravenously. These are some of the uh, properties of uh, pharmacokinetic features of phenytoin that at low level, it, uh, it follows a first order, but uh, when the level becomes higher, it uh, will follow zero order kinetics because of enzyme situation. Phenytoin is uh, highly bound to plasma proteins. But some of the drugs, they can uh, displace phenytoin from these plasma proteins, leading to uh, free, higher free levels of phenytoin, thus resulting in uh, toxicity of phenytoin. But the level of these plasma proteins, they will get, uh, they decrease in uh, renal disease. Mechanism of uh, phenytoin is by blocking again the sodium channels and uh, calcium channels. Thus inhibiting the depolarization and inhibition of conduction of impulses. This is the resting stage, resting state. This is when uh, sodium enters the channel, and this is the inactivated state. Phenytoin, it uh, keeps this channel in this state, inactivated state. Now, the clinical uses of phenytoin, it is used for uh, treatment of generalized tonic-clonic sears partial sears, including simple and complex partial. Another epileptic use is status epilepticus. This is a type of a sear which, uh, is, which can be uh, fatal, and this is one of the emergency condition in which the fit, it will last for more than uh, three minutes. Usually most of the fits, uh, do not last for more than two minutes. And another non-epileptic use of phenytoin is cardiac arrhythmias. What is the earliest sign or adverse effect of a phenytoin? That is nystigmus. Nystigmus is a uncontrollable uh, movement of eyeballs up and down also called as dancing eyes the other side effects are just like uh, carbamazepine it also causes uh, diplopia and uh, ataxia
The other side effects of phenytoin are peripheral neuropathy, decreased tendon reflexes, osteomalacia, and this diagram is showing the hyperplastic gums. It causes gingival hyperplasia. The most important side effects of phenytoin are gingival hyperplasia and hirsutism, that is excessive growth of hair on face. Other side effects are hepatitis, hypersensitivity reaction, megaloblastic anemia, agranulocytosis, and lymphadenopathy, although these are some of the rare side effects. Now, the purple glove syndrome. When a phenytoin it is administered intravenously, it results in this syndrome, purple glove syndrome. This is characterized by a black discoloration and edema, plus a pain distal to the site of injection. But this side effect, it, it, it is less with the pro-drug of phenytoin called as phosphenytoin. So for IV administration, uh, phosphenytoin is preferable. This is showing ataxia. Now, what are the teratogenic effects of phenytoin? When phenytoin is administered during pregnancy, it results in fetal hydantoin syndrome. The important features of this syndrome are cleft lip, as shown in this diagram, plus cleft palate. Slowed growth, mental retardation, plus congenital heart disease. So these are the teratogenic effects of phenytoin, called as fetal hydantoin syndrome. Because sometimes uh, phenytoin, it is also called as diphenyl uh, hydantoin. That's why uh, the name of its teratogenic uh, effect syndrome is fetal hydantine syndrome. This is uh, one of uh, the mnemonic to remember the side effects of uh, phenytoin. Phenytoin, P stands for enzyme inducer, H, hirsutism, E, enlarged gums. These are the two very important side effects of phenytoin. Nystigmus been rolling of eyeballs, uh, uh, rolling movement of eyeballs, yellowish browning of skin. This is a purple glove syndrome when phenytoin is administered IV. Teratogenic effects, fetal hydantoin syndrome. Osteomalacia, eye for interference with folate absorption resulting in megaloblastic anemia. And the last one, N stands for neuropathies, in, including vertigo, ataxia, and peripheral neuropathies. Now, some of the drug interactions of phenytoin are that barbiturates like phenobarbiton and carbamazepine, they will increase the metabolism of phenytoin. While uh, valproic acid or sodium valproate, it will inhibit phenytoin metabolism, leading to higher levels of uh, phenytoin. The drugs uh, like valproic acid, tiagabine, ethosuximide, lamotrigine, topiramate, when combined with phenytoin, the rate of metabolism of these drugs is enhanced. Now the next group, GABA pentinoids. It includes two drugs, GABA pentin and pregabalin. GABA pentinoids uh, they bind to uh, this subunit. This is the subunit for uh, 
subunit of uh, calcium channels. So they block uh, calcium channels, but they bind to a different uh, subunit and thus decrease the release of excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate. These are the clinical uses of GABA pentenoids. Again, you can divide uh, these uses into epileptic and non-epileptic uses. Epileptic uses are uh, for treatment of generalized tonic-clonic seers and partial seers. And the non-epileptic uses, which are uh, two of these are the common uses of these uh, GABA pentenoids which are neuropathic pain, uh, specifically the pain uh, that occurs uh, uh, post uh, uh, herpes or after shingles. Herpes zoster uh, causing uh, chicken pox it is one of the complication of this that sharp pain can occur because this uh, disease it affects the nerve fibers so it occurs mainly after herpes zoster infection diabetic neuropathy restless leg syndrome these are also used for treatment of uh, this syndrome in which a patient uh, urge to uh, move the legs when uh, sitting or lying down lying down so it occurs at, in evening or at night the last indication is fibromyalgia this is again this is one of the common uh, disease especially in females and this is widespread uh, musculoskeletal pain and it can be accompanied by fatigue sleep uh, disturbance mood and memory disturbance and this fibromyalgia it usually begins after a psychological significant psychological stress or any surgery or infection so we can treat the fibromyalgia with these GABA pentenoids. Now these are there are four non-epileptic uses of GABA pentenoids. Now coming to the adverse effects, the most important adverse effects of GABA pentenoids are weight gain and peripheral edema. The other side effects are somnolence, dizziness tremors and headache this is all for now now the summary of today's lecture in today's lecture i have covered four drugs phenytoin carbamazepine gabapentin and pregabalin let's revise the non-epileptic uses of all these four drugs starting with phenytoin there is a single non-epileptic use that is cardiac arrhythmias carbamazepine is used for treatment of trigeminal neuralgia and glossopharyngeal neuralgia Another non-epileptic use is mania in bipolar disorder. Gabapentin and pregabalin, they are used for treatment of diabetic neuropathy. Mainly pregabalin is more preferred over gabapentin. Neuropathies like post-herpatic neuralgia restless leg syndrome and fibromyalgia now the important side effects of these four drugs 
Carbamazepine, it causes diplopia, hyponatremia, and the rare side effect is Stevens Johnson syndrome. Phenytoin, it causes gingival, uh, gingival hyperplasia and hirsutism and fetal hydantoin syndrome, which is one of the important teratogenic effects of uh, phenytoin. Now, the last drug is gabapentin. These drugs, they can cause weight gain and peripheral edema. So this was the summary of today's lecture. Thank you so much. Inshallah, I will uh, cover the rest of anti-epileptic drugs in my next three lectures. Thank you so much.